Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the EFUN smartwatch, which is a um, Android-based um, a Next One smartwatch. It's the um, it's Android-based. It has a touchscreen display. It synchronizes via Bluetooth with Android or iOS, and um, it has the basic functions that you come to expect from a smartwatch, including the ability to show notifications from your phone. There's a little weather forecast app, <laughs> which sometimes opens. There we go. We're at a trade show and there's no internet here right now. That's the back button. And um, you can see uh, it also has a pedometer built in. Yes, yes. So it'll track your steps. And if you look at the settings here, you can see we've got the storage, language, date, time, backup reset. So if you're familiar with Android, you'll recognize some of these things. But the user interface has been redesigned to fit onto this smaller display, which is made to fit onto your wrist. I'll show you on your wrist here. So it's um, you know a little bit larger than a normal watch, but it uh, offers a lot more functionality. Yeah. So the standard inch, um, 1.55. 1 1.55 inches. Okay. Uh, and we use uh, nano, iPod Nano. Okay. Uh, nano Nano Six. Same nano same screen. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, you can use it to control media playback. Um, now this is this would be media playback on your phone, right? Yeah. And so this would be like remote control. Right. So this would be a remote control for the playback of music on your phone. And uh, can you install third-party applications on this, or just the apps that come with it? Uh, you need to, uh, because uh, the smart the application uh, synchronize the smartphone synchronize everything in your smartphone. Smartphone. So okay. you need to install through this application. The sync so there's an app. Yes. There's an app on your phone yes, that you yes. can use to. Uh, okay. Great. And uh, so it's coming uh, in the first quarter of 2014, and it's expected to sell for around $100, which makes it one of the most affordable uh, devices of this type, and should get up to about two days worth of battery life. So that is the eFun Next One smartwatch uh, demo, which will be available uh, hopefully within a few months of uh, the time I'm shooting this video.